people let's see said we got to do this one quick because i went overboard on on the uh, fan b and now we're looking at the kaleidoscope so i'm not allowed to do a long video which how in the world is it going to happen the fan the fan fan the fan fanoscope kaleidoscope right over there which i think is wrongly named because isn't the kaleidoscope that's bright isn't the kaleidoscope a thing that you look through and there's all those really fancy colors in cool shapes where the Fuck out the colors. I see the shapes, but no colors because it's a freaking trooper defects pedal and they're all freaking black. And um, on the website, you can find a little manual thing, which will in the future be packaged with it because you need to know what the freaking thing does. By the way, this silver switch, which we can, of course, see from the side, I put on there. It's a Harley Benton thing. Did that for a video and I really like it. So um, screw you. I'm keeping it on there. Um, that's a momentary thing. So we go through the controls quickly because Leslie yells at me. Overall volume for everything. For drive through for everything. Let's mark that down. I can't even write a freaking V. <laughs> that's horrible. That's equally horrible. Volume. This is compression, drive, it's a freaking fuzz. It's how much is your reverb fuzzing, driving, being compressed? So let's call it gain. Come on, that's a good G. This is because it's a reverb which is usually made with a delay line. Uh, those delays can be feedbacked. So it's the feedback for the delay, which will kind of result in how big is the reverb. So we could call it size or we could call it feedback because it goes into um, positive feedback, meaning building itself up. We're going to call it feedback. That makes it easier to predict the behavior. I didn't make this F curved because I'm completely stupid. There are little riffles on the knobs and they guided me. So Leslie, stop Stop thinking I'm stupid. I'm not a doo-doo head. Oh, I got to tell you something. So I got a package in the mail, okay? And it, it arrived in front of my door and I look at the package and what does it say on it? It says, doo-doo head Pauli. Well, that can only be two people who call me that. That's either Leslie or freaking Michelle from Belgium. And who was it? It was freaking both of them. They ganged up on me and sent me a present. Do you want to see my present?
It's like a Jupiter lightsaber because it's got noise in it. Lightsaber! Done! <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, moving on. Um, feedback. This is an uh, oscillation, which uh, we're going to see how much you can hear that. So when you're holding this in, it's how much does the oscillation build in it. So we're going to call that O. Easy to do because the riffles guide me. And then this is the reverb level, meaning the main guitar sound stays always the same. And then you mix in the reverb. Uh, so it's reverb level. But for me, that's kind of like a mix. But it's not a mix that goes full wet. If you want full wet, you hit kill. That's a kill dry. And off we go. Stanford, Marquis, hollow body, 899, including a case. There's going to be full review of this thing. Um, it's a semi, semi hollow. What an amazing guitar from Stanford. Thank you, Stanford. Uh, by the way, the video that we're making right now about the kaleidoscope is not a paid for video. However, Chris sent me the pedal for a completely different reason. But if I have a pedal here, I might as well review it for a friend. So uh, that's what we're doing. Not telling you why the pedal's here. That's the Tone King Sky King through the arcs of the 412 Free Mac Loaded Cab, and of course the Semi Hollow Marquee from Stanford. <laughs> so, volume. So, the magic is this gain knob right here. Because uh, you kind of always want it on. Let's listen to that without the reverb by turning the mix down. See, all of a sudden with the with the fum knobs, I mean, it, you know, knowing what they do helps. You get a drive as well. It feels longer, yep. Crank this oscillation up. So the oscillation is subtle, but it kind of feels like it's a little bit of a freeze function, but of course done in an analog way.
Now, of course, we're not right now we have the G all the way down. Let's get that in because that's that's the amazing thing about the kaleidoscope. The dirt. everything kind of influences each other. Dirty jazz, why not? I don't know how to jazz. If we actually put drive in front of it, let's see how it handles that from the golden boy over here. I have a lot of reverbs that fiddle fizzle out and just can't handle drive in front of them, at least not that much. And um, this is beautiful.
perfect, kaleidoscope. Uh, it's a pedal. That's actually bigger than that. Um, and uh, it, it, it's very unique. It's a compressed, cranky reverb that can be swelled up with an oscillator. I mean, the whole form section is great. I'm sorry, I don't know. Form. VG like vagina. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. What do I know? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I laugh about that stuff. <laughs> Poop. <laughs> Poop. It's funny. Funny to me. I know. Turn it off now. I'm sorry, I disappointed you. You had high hopes that I was not stupid. I am. Um, this is cool. This isn't necessarily the reverb that you put on your board to have a normal reverb, you know, it, with. Uh, source audio, Strymon, Walrus audio out there. No, this is the one that does what it does and only what it does when you want what it does. From a great team assembled by hand in Germany, there's, it's literally uh, farm to table pedals. It's Chris and his team and then you buy it from him directly or from Reverb and it ships to you. There's no one in between. All the money goes to those people. Chris even, and I got to point that out, he's, he's donating monthly to Leslie's Animal Shelter. And that's not why I'm reviewing it. That's not, that's not why I'm saying it's good. But he's a good-hearted guy with way too many tattoos. But I don't know, I don't know what the deal with that is. It's, it's everywhere. But that's his thing. And it's all black. That's his thing. Do I like all of his pedals? No, a lot of them go, Ew! it's not my thing. This is cool. Okay? Elephant thinks so too. Thank you for watching. Links below. Animals at the end. I have